Alright guys, before I start this video, a lot of things are going on in the world, a lot of things are changing, so I'm actually providing a little update and kind of intro to the video I had originally recorded. So I got back from Italy last week, and at the time, the video I'm about to publish was all the restrictions that there were, and I'll get into that video here in a second. But since then, there's been a little bit of a change to things since the European Union recommended that countries uh, reconsider or close off travel uh, to U.S. tourists again. So obviously it's going to be up to each individual country what they want to do. And what Italy has decided to do is add a further restriction, um, which is that you need a negative COVID test to enter the country. You have to get that negative COVID test within three days before your arrival. And that is something that is new. Previously, if you were vaccinated, you did not have to do that. Um, and also, you pretty much have to be vaccinated right now to go there if you want to avoid a quarantine. So in addition to all everything I'm going to talk about here in a second, just know that you do need a negative COVID test to get into Italy. So now let's get to the original video. Video and I'll tell you about my time uh, in Italy and kind of the different COVID uh, restrictions that I experienced. Ciao everybody, um, welcome back to Andy All Over. I'm excited to be talking to you guys today because I just got back from five days in Florence, Italy and I think that's something that's really important um, if you're going to travel right now is understanding, uh, especially when you're traveling internationally, is understanding what you need to know and what you need to do and what you need to have um, if you're traveling to a country in terms of coronavirus restrictions, in terms of travel uh, regulations, and in terms of documents you may need uh, to go into that country. And so to give you a little context here, uh, Italy is doing something similar to what France is doing. Um, and by the way, I made a similar video to this talking about travel restrictions in France. If you go to the up, this link up here, somewhere up here, um, you can see uh, the similar video, kind of see a specific video about the restrictions and on the ground kind of detail for myself on what everything's like in Paris right now. So similar to France, Italy is using kind of this green pass system, which essentially means that if you are an Italian resident um, or if you're uh, in, uh, living in an EU state, um, you're able to do something what's called a green pass. And basically what a green pass is, is a QR code on your phone or you can put it on a piece of paper um, that has proof of your vaccination on it. And so basically you're able to just kind of scan the QR code saying, hey, this person's vaccinated. Um, so it's you know essentially a vaccine passport as people have called it. So something that is different um, from France, uh, France tried to set up the kind of this system where tourists can apply uh, to get uh, a green pass, um, but I didn't really have a lot of success with it. Um, Italy isn't trying to do anything like that. They're basically just saying, hey, provide some proof of vaccination. Um, and so the CDC card really worked well. Um, it's a super important document you guys are need to have. You need to treat it like your passport. Um, you know, treat it like it's a bar of gold, to be honest, because um, that's what's gonna you know get you into the country. Um, it's also what's gonna get you into restaurants, bars. It's what's gonna get you into coffee shops, museums, etc. cetera. Um, I found that there's a 100% enforcement at museums. You're not gonna get, you know, there's no museums that are just gonna forget to ask you. The Uffizi, the Academia, places, all the places I went. Um, we did a tour of the Domo. It was beautiful. Um, and all those places, they're gonna ask everyone uh, to make sure you show that proof of vaccination. What I will say though, is that I found it to be a kind of total toss up with when it comes to restaurants or bars or kind of other places as to whether they're gonna ask. Um, and in fact, I, I would say I probably got asked less times than I did. You know, once in a while we would have someone say, hey, can we see your, you know, a proof of vaccination? Um, sometimes they would after we already sat down. Um, so I, I didn't see that being really too strictly enforced. Um, but because it's kind of sporadic and you sometimes are gonna be asked to show that proof of vaccination at a restaurant or a bar, um, I think it's you know super important that you carry your CDC card around with you the you know pretty much the entire length of your trip. You know you're gonna have to have it in your wallet or your pocket, um, whatever. Um, you're gonna need to treat that uh, yeah you know, like a super high priority document, guys. One other thing I think it's really important to know is to get into Italy, you're gonna need something called a travel locator form. I'm gonna attach that um, link to how you do that below in the description. And this is super important, guys, because I, I was smart. I knew what I was doing, of course, and uh, I had this document filled out um, ahead of time. I actually had a printed copy. I'm um, gonna made the airport uh, experience very smooth. Um, but if you don't have this filled out, they're gonna make you basically sit on your phone and kind of do this expensive questionnaire at the airport. 
um, and it's kind of a hassle, um, and there's a lot of different questions on it. I mean, you know, because uh, Florence was our second stop on the trip, I mean, we were even putting in like our hotel information in Paris, you know, where have we been, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I would just suggest just doing it in advance before you leave. Um, it maybe takes 10 minutes to fill out um, and you'll be glad you did. Besides that, in terms of getting into the country, if you have your CDC card, you have your passport, you're gonna be fine. In terms of getting around the country, if you have your CDC card, you're gonna be fine, guys. Um, and so the one thing to keep in mind is that when you're coming home, if you're coming home to the States or depending on what country you're going back to, just make sure you know what regulations there are to come home. Um, because inter uh, if you're doing international travel, at least in the United States, you still have to get a negative test before you come home. The last thing I'll kind of talk about is kind of the general mask situation in Florence. Um, so you do have to wear them, you know, at restaurants and bars and museums. Museums are obviously gonna enforce it pretty much 100% of the time. Sorry, my camera almost just fell. I'm actually, I got my camera on my backpack, guys. Uh, hang on here. So I think that in terms of restaurants and bars though, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that a lot of places, you know, are for requiring it, um, but there were definitely some, especially some coffee shops where kind of the Italian way is to kind of come in, get an espresso shot at the bar and kind of walk out. Um, a lot of situations like that, I, just didn't, I didn't necessarily see people wearing masks. Um, I would say a lot of people were, most people were though. Um, just kind of keep in mind that, that you know, is something that a lot of places are gonna enforce and you need to bring a mask and make sure you have it with you. That said guys, um, that's all I got for you and hopefully I was able to give you kind of a general overview of what it's like on the ground right now um, in Italy, um, especially in Florence as well. So go ahead and give it a like and a subscribe to this video if you're going to Italy soon or you just found this video helpful. Um, I'm gonna have a lot more of my uh, Italian videos coming out soon. We're gonna kind of do a travel vlog. We're gonna do a video talking about things you need to know uh, outside of COVID restrictions before planning a trip um, to Florence and to Italy. Uh, we're gonna talk about a lot of other things as well. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Um, we got a lot of cool videos coming. Um, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So uh, stay safe out there, guys. If you're going to Italy soon, have a blast. Let me know in the comments uh, how your trip's gonna go and when you're leaving, and we'll talk soon. Thanks for tuning in.